North Korea tests new long-range cruise missile. North Korea has conducted a test of a new long-range cruise missile capable of striking much of Japan, according to official media. According to the official KCNA news agency, missiles flew up to 1,500 kilometers (930 miles) during the weekend testing. It implies that, despite food shortages and an economic crisis, North Korea is still capable of building weapons. The newest tests, according to the U.S. military, posed a threat to the international community, and Japan expressed serious worry. An image published in the North Korean Rodong Sinmin newspaper shows a missile being launched from a launch vehicle and another flying horizontally. The missiles are a strategic weapon of great significance the KCNA agency said. The tests were conducted on Saturday and Sunday, with the missiles hitting their targets before landing into North Korean territorial waters, according to the report. According to North Korean researcher Anki Panda, it is the country's first long-range cruise missile capable of carrying a nuclear payload. North Korea is prohibited from testing ballistic missiles, but not cruise missiles like this, according to UN Security Council sanctions. Ballistic missiles, according to the Council, are more dangerous than cruise missiles because they may carry larger and more potent payloads, have a considerably greater range, and fly quicker. A ballistic missile is propelled by a rocket and travels in an arc, whereas a cruise missile travels at a lower altitude and is propelled by a jet engine. So is this a big deal? The reason some may shrug this missile test off is because it was a cruise missile. This sort of missile is exempt from UN Security Council restrictions aimed at halting North Korea's nuclear weapons program. Some may interpret this as Pyongyang's low-level provocation, testing the waters to see what reaction it may elicit. It didn't make the front page of South Korea's newspaper, and it didn't make the front page of North Korea's state publication. The issue is that, despite being subject to harsh international sanctions, North Korea is once again demonstrating its ability to build new and lethal weapons. These cruise missiles are low-flying and difficult to detect, and their 1,500km range puts much of Japan within range. These missiles are also referred to as strategic by state media, implying that the dictatorship intends to equip them with a nuclear warhead. Analysts are divided on whether North Korea can miniaturize a nuclear warhead small enough to put on a cruise missile. However, given the secret of state's previous achievements, no one would bet against it. Pyongyang has been quiet since former U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un failed to reach an agreement in Hanoi in 2019. That isn't to say their weapon designers haven't been active. Japan's chief cabinet secretary Katsunobu Kato said Japan has significant concerns and was working with the U.S. and South Korea to monitor the situation. Meanwhile, the U.S. military said the test demonstrated North Korea's continued focus on improving its military program, as well as its resolve to defending allies South Korea and Japan. North Korea has been urged by the United States to give up its nuclear weapons, and Pyongyang's relationship with President Joe Biden's administration has been tense thus far. Japan and North Korea have long-standing tensions stemming from Japan's 35-year colonization of Korea, Pyongyang's pursuit of nuclear and missile programs, and Pyongyang's abduction of Japanese people in the past. North Korea spent more than a year in isolation due to pandemic, with the Chinese border closed, 